What's up guys, it's Diaz here, and today I'm bringing you a commentary for the new map Stadium. This is the third map of the four part mini series for the First Strike DLC on Call of Duty Black Ops. And the setup I'm using is the AK-74U with extended mags, and the second there is the Python. Once again I'm using my basic setup based on the equipment whilst playing Domination and Team Deathmatch. Uh, it's just a Sam Tax, Willie Pete and Finley Claymore. And for my perks I'm using Lightweight, Sleight of Hand and Marathon. Lightweight Marathon is pretty self explanatory since I'm using a submachine gun, but the reason that I'm using Sleight of Hand is because of this map. Stadium is a medium to small map if you haven't uh, got the maps or you don't know, and you're guaranteed to come face to face with someone on a regular basis if you're rushing towards them. Uh, so Sleight of Hand will help you out so much and is definitely worth using for the second perk. And today I'm going to be playing on the last stadium like I said before, and it's a map that has a lot of different opinions. Like before, I'm going to be rating this map. Like I said already, there's a lot of different opinions on this, so sorry if you disagree. And if you do leave a comment, it actually might ch change my mind. And instead of thinking to yourself, leave a c leaving a comment also proves that you watch my videos, which does make me <laughs> happier than normal. So yeah, uh, hopefully you can leave a comment if you've got a different opinion. And the rating I would give this map is a t 8 out of 10. The reason for this is mainly because of the size. I prefer maps like this 9 out of 10 times and I'm hugely grateful that they took time on this and didn't make some Nuketown bullshit once again and I'm talking about when you spawn by throwing one or two grenades you can get one or two kills yeah you, yeah, you can get uh, do that in this map but not as bad as Nuketown and you can tell that Nuketown wasn't really that advanced but I'm glad a map like Stadium came along it does remind me of Farm Range and that's probably my favourite map in the game so I'm glad that this is out and it's my favourite map in the First Strike DLC. Another reason why it's this rating is because Domination. I'm not too sure about yourself but I enjoy I enjoy playing with Domination. This is this or Team Death match like in most maps is my favourite game type to play in Stadium. And the B flag is pretty hard to, to capture which is the case in every map in the First Strike DLC so it's not that different. Another good thing in this map is the buildings. There's not too many and not too less. Not only that, but the design of buildings are also great. By this, I mean that not only do they look good, but they're also just aren't too campy, which is definitely a high priority for me. The class setup I would use whilst playing Domination on this map would be just as follows. AK-74 with extended mags, Python with, uh, with a speed reloader attachment, Sam Tax, Willie Pete and Finley Claymore. The perks would be Flat Jacket Pro, Sleight of Hand Pro and Finley Marathon Pro. And if I wasn't playing Domination, I would change Flat Jacket to Lightweight. Uh, I, uh, that's pretty self-explanatory once again because Flak Jacket, as I've said in many videos before, is a huge advantage in Domination and it's worth using. Now, like before, since I spoke about my thoughts on the map, I'm going to answer a few questions that uh, has been asked on YouTube and my private messages. So, uh, the last question that was asked was, I think it was, who was my favourite YouTube commentator? And I did answer, would his gamer tag? Now I'm going to be asking uh, a question which is similar basically and it's the most interesting YouTube commentator. This is different than my favourite YouTube commentator. Uh, it's a lot different if you don't really know then I can't really explain it but yeah it is a lot different and uh, that's Wings of Redemption. Uh, if you've listened to his stories lately he's been talking about his dad because he's been going on with his dad. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not worried about that but his previous, his previous commentaries are pretty smart. I think he's putting his opinions out, and they also do contain, uh, contain some history evidence, like history commentaries and stuff, so that's re really why I sub to him. I'm not that into history, but he makes it sound good, so yeah, he's definitely uh, the most interesting YouTube commentator. And the second question is the funniest YouTube commentator. This is once again different, and hopefully you know what I mean. <laughs> and uh, that's seen antlers, it's just, he's so random, I can't really describe it, but yeah, I do think he's funny, and... I'm glad that he makes videos, but that's the end of the game. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Please like the video, it helps out a lot. And I do appreciate every person that likes. And uh, appreciate every uh, everyone that comments more. So if you could also comment, I would appreciate it a lot. And hopefully you enjoyed the video. Thanks a lot.